The Saints leave D.C. all smiles. They're three and two heading to their bye week with some reinforcements which should arrive soon. More on that in a minute. Let's start off four takeaways with one of the greatest games you'll ever see from a punter. Blake Gillikin dropped three punts inside the Washington football team five yard line. The one that rolled out of bounds at the one led directly to the Hail Mary touchdown at the end of the first half. The one that was down at the two led directly to the P.J. Williams interception. Sean Payton gave Gillikin a game ball afterwards. Rarely does a punter affect a game in a positive way this much. And give the Saints credit, they kept Gillikin on the practice squad all year last year because they recognized his potential and it paid off on Sunday. And he wasn't the only star. At number three, Marshawn Lattimore was excellent. The Saints actually changed up how they normally use Lattimore. Sunday, he traveled from side to side with Washington star Terry McLaurin. McLaurin is among the NFL's best wide receivers receivers coming into this game. He was averaging nine and a half targets, a little better than six catches and 88 yards per game. Against Lattimore, Washington still threw to him often. He got 11 targets, but he only caught four passes for 46 yards. And taking McLaurin out of the equation clearly rattled Taylor Heineke. Heineke was the NFL's ninth ranked passer before Sunday. He came off the bench in their opener when Ryan Fitzpatrick went down. And until Sunday, his worst game of the year was against Buffalo. But with Lattimore shutting down McLaurin, Heineke's quarterback rating was a terrible 47.6. Just by contrast, Jameis Winston was an excellent 108 Sunday. At number two, I said last week the Giants game wasn't one of Sean Payton's greatest play calling games ever. I thought this one was a great one. Ron Rivera was asked on his coach's show Saturday what he expects from Sean Payton. He said, I expect something I haven't planned for. Rivera planned for a run-heavy attack. Why? Well, because in the Saints' first four games, Sean Payton had run it almost exactly 60% of the time. But against Washington, Payton flipped the script. The Saints passed 57% of the time. Payton excelled Sunday in both play calling and in play design. The second touchdown to Marquez Callaway, the one in the fourth quarter, was against man-to-man. -man. It was a double pick play. Callaway starts inside. He gets picks from Kenny Stills and Garrett Griffin. He winds up wide open on the outside. It was a terrific play. Rivera played a ton of five-man front, so Payton took deep shots, like the long one to Deontay Harris. And the Hail Mary, Washington players admitted they weren't ready for it. They were planning, thinking the Saints were going to try to get closer to get a field goal before halftime, but Peyton went big and it paid off big. And then late in the game, I love this one, a quarterback sneak on third and one failed. So Peyton ran it again on fourth and one and it worked. Sean Peyton had football team guessing and off balance all game. And at number one, I can't get away from this. The Saints are pretty good now and they will get better. The offense will add Mike Thomas, Traquan Smith, Teron Armstead, and Eric McCoy. Thomas, in particular, will change things. He'll single-handedly take pressure off Alvin Kamara. Then on defense, the pass rush will instantly get better when the Saints add David Onyemata and Marcus Davenport, plus Will Lutz will definitely help across the board, too. Point is, the Saints are 3-2, and two, getting better on offense with reinforcements coming across the board. I think they are a playoff team now that's going to be fun to watch for the next three months. And that is my number one takeaway from the win in Washington.